Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we're going to talk about this little baby. It's my DVD writer. I've had this for, well, I think probably about two years now and it's been really good, I've had no issues with it. Uh, the odd occasion the uh, DVD would get stuck but it's very rare and it's normally because of something going on within Windows. If it's plugged in Windows and it doesn't come open, it's normally because Windows is probably still trying to do something. So I thought, well, with that in mind, I thought I'd do a little video just to show you how easy it is to open the drawer on a DVD writer. You know, one of these external ones. And most of the time on your laptop is the same principle and your internal ones on your computer. But not all of them, some don't have this feature, but 95% of them do. I have seen a few, very rare that do not have this feature and I think well why have you why have you not got that feature? You should have that feature. You know, it should be standard. And it's quite easy to do. And the other reason I'm doing it is because I've had a few people who have asked me, my DVD's got stuck, how do I get it out, you know? Providing the um, the D V D or C D hasn't come out of its seating, which is very unlikely unless you've been chucking it about and take silly with it, dropping it on the floor and it's jumped up and it's got jammed, you don't have to strip it apart. So I thought it's a good idea uh, to do a tutorial just to show people how easy it is to do. And there's only a few tools you need. You need either a pin, a dining needle would be probably better, or a very small screwdriver. Luckily for me, I have a little toolkit with a very small screwdriver. I mean, these things are not cheap. I mean, they, they vary in price. I mean, these two I've got on my screen now, they're just under £18. So the, that's not expensive. But you can pay a few hundred pounds. And that can be quite expensive. And having a CD stuck in there, or a DVD, or in this case, even a Blu-ray stuck in there for movies, is not nice. And you think, where the hell am I going to get that out? Well, you need a very small screwdriver like that. It's a flathead one, but it is very small. If you look on the face, where the jet button is, it's there. And I'll uh, try and zoom it in. There's a little hole right there. And, you know, you might, and there's a lot of people out there who say, yeah, we know all about that. But there's also equally a lot of people out there who don't know. Um, this is why I thought it was a good idea for me to do this video. So all you need, like I say, in this case I'm using a very small screwdriver. It's just small enough to fit in that hole there. I think you can see that. <laughs> and that's it. That is how easy it is. But like I say, if you don't know, you don't know. Some, some, this is spring loaded, so it, that's why it pops out really easy. But some of them, the mechanical release, in other words, they have a gear that pulls it out. So it needs to be powered. So with them ones, you have to push them in quite hard and then it pops out. But the spring, this spring load, load your pump, you just push it in a little bit and it actually comes and it's really easy. Do it again. See? It won't even shut there because that's still in there. You've got to pull that. But that's how easy it is and I thought it's important that you know, I mean, if it's still plugged into the computer it shouldn't be a problem, you, you still should be able to release it. But in my personal opinion, and I don't know of any reason why you can't leave it plugged in, but for your own, to stop you damaging your drive, I suggest you unplug it or turn the computer off, then unplug it and then pop it out, you know? Just for uh, stop it damaging the uh, unit. And that's how easy it is. See, I've got a CD in there, because I want to do it with a CD. But like I say, as long as the CD's seated in there properly, and yeah, in even most cases, even if it ain't seated, yeah, it's not going to shut in the first place. And it shouldn't it technically get stuck anyway. But yeah, so that's it. So it's not powered up, as you can see. This this actually needs two connections. It actually needs a power supply as well as connection to a uh, USB connection to the uh, computer. And I don't use this very often nowadays because obviously most people you either download stuff or they use memory sticks and stuff like that. So it's very rare using the DVD uh, writer. 
but it's handy to have because every now and again you'll get a product come come in or whatever and you've got a CD on there or a DVD or you want to watch a movie on the computer and you think ah oh, where's my DVD part because I've got none in my computer I ain't got none in my computer it's only my big old one that's sitting right over the corner my my one that's over 10 years old I'm still which is my Mozart TX from uh, Thermal Tape I've still got that and I'm still looking forward to doing the build in the future. So a lot of it. Again, I'll show you one more time. So there's your jet button. There's no way it's going to open, especially without power. So how many times you try it. But stick a little uh, screwdriver in the little tiny hole. And it's that easy. But like I say, some mechanicals, the mechanical ones, you have to give, give it quite a hard push for it to open. But the first thing you do is just do a light one first. And if it doesn't come over, bit harder until it until it does come open so I just wanted to show you that so um, with that if you have any comments please post them below if you have any comments with any issues with a DVD writers and they've been trouble with you getting your discs out not so bad on Windows 10 I don't think I've had any issues with Windows 10 not letting me have the discs out but the ones previous to that sometime and Sometimes it's just the disc itself, it's not been wrote properly, especially, I mean, I've got, um, these are holiday photos on here that I made, so, you know, you never know what you're going to have. I better leave it out anyway, in case I want it for later. And look, like I said, if you have any comments, especially if you've had issues like this and stuff, it'd be nice for you to get in, uh, down in the comments for other people to read. And, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.